We can have four. No, oh, keep on making these mistakes. Not proof. Prove the following identity. Okay. Now I know in this question when. If you see something like this in an exam, you are going to freak. You would you would not want to see this at all. And um, I sympathize with you. It does look a little bit intimidating, be especially because there's now this N in the exponent. Okay. But try and relax and approach this uh, as simple as you can. Okay. So forget about the right-hand side. We'll try and get to the right-hand side. But you can on the right-hand side also. Uh, manipulate a little bit and see if you can't work left and right hand side to get to the answer but what I'm going to do is just look at the left hand side and uh, and do what I do best and that's algebra okay so if I look at the left hand side I see I've got cos to the power of n theta minus cos to the power of n plus 2 first of all sorry I, I forgot pass cos and das is my steps uh, positive acute and simple that's what I need to do first Everything is positive, everything is acute, everything is simple. I'm talking about the angles, of course. So what I'm going to do now is the DAS step, the algebraic simplification, and, and just see if I can't make it look a little bit better. And it's not that difficult. Notice that this cos of n is just actually cos of theta to the power of n, and n plus 2 is cos of theta to the power of n plus 2. Okay. Now that means here are two more factors of cos than they are here. So if I take out a cos to the power of n factor, here I'm left with only one. But here I'm left with still two factors because that means these, this n tells me how many factors of cos theta there are and we actually have two more than in this one so there would be two left. Okay, which is lovely because there we see the 1 minus cos squared theta and hopefully you know that that is sine squared theta. By now you should know it. Okay, in the bottom we do exactly the same. In the denominator we take out a sine um, to the power n theta and we're left with 1 minus sine and there's two of them left. Okay, I'm working by the way on the left hand side. You should put that somewhere. Okay, my next step I am going to take notice that well cos of n over sine of n is the same as saying cos of theta to the power of n divided by sine of theta to the power of n and that's the same as just saying cos of theta over sine of theta theta to the power of n, everything to the power of n, because the numerator and denominator is to the power of n. So this whole thing simplifies cos over sine is 1 over tan. Okay, so this thing simplifies to 1 over tan theta to the power of n. And this side, here we see we've got sine squared theta and the bottom we've got cos squared theta okay one minus sine squared theta is cos squared theta I hope I'm not skipping important steps to you okay but this thing is just 1 to the power of n and tan to the power of n so this becomes 1 over tan to the power of n theta and this is the same same as here okay eventually this side just simplifies to sine theta over cos theta everything squared and that's just tan everything squared okay like that so in other words this just becomes tan squared theta okay are we getting there okay so now what we notice is that again tan n theta just means tan theta to the power of n. So if I have that in the denominator, this is actually tan theta to the power of negative n. Okay? And that is tan theta to the power of 2. And that simplifies then to tan theta to the power of 2 minus n. Bases are the same, so I add exponents. And again, this is not the way that we write trig expressions. We write this rather as 2 minus n theta. And that is what we have right there.